Hey folks, welcome to Market Intraday Analysis by InTheMoneyStocks.com, your leaders in pure technical analysis, avoiding all that Wall Street hype. Today's intraday video for Wednesday, March 4th, 2009. Well, we're seeing the market trade slightly to the upside today after about five days of heavy selling. And we've really seen constant selling for more than two weeks now, ever since the pivot high on February 9th. Now, what you have seen today is some news out of China giving the markets a lift. Also, you just had a major oversold situation in the markets. After so many days of selling, there's bound to be some bottom fishing there with them picking stocks up, ETFs, funds, you know, kind of pushing them up to the upside. So you're seeing a little bit of that across the board today. I want to go over the trend lines intraday, so the trend line analysis is done. We'll focus on the 10-minute chart, the 60-minute chart, and the overall. Maybe we'll take a look at the daily chart as well to throw that in today on this uh, intraday video. A couple things to note. Yesterday we had a possible formation intraday. Uh, we talked a little bit about it in the intraday video of the WV formation, which could have been a bullish sign for today's rally. Although the pullback yesterday, I'll explain why that turned out to be negated, even though we did see the move up today. Um, we'll draw on the trend lines first, get the intraday stuff out of the way, but let's first touch on where the markets are right now. The Dow currently up about 101 points, the NASDAQ trading up 25 and a half, and the S&P up about 10 points. Across the board, that's about 1.5% on the S&P and Dow, while the NASDAQ trades higher by 2%. As we've seen, and this has been a constant, folks, you can see the NASDAQ is the stronger index. It's been the stronger one for the last you know, couple months. And the way you can tell is look at the S&P and the Dow, both at below November lows, while the NASDAQ still trades uh, above the November low. So definitely money flowing into tech. Uh, financials continuing to be very weak today. GE is under a little pressure again after they... Uh, came out with more negative news, uh, got a downgrade yesterday, a couple other odds and, odds and ends. Uh, let's first again start with the trend lines intraday. And what you can see here is that the market is trading higher, but we did see a gap up and a pullback. Notice the pullback from the gap up came right down to a necktie. Remember a necktie being the cross of the 20 moving average and the 50 moving average, major support there. And you can see how the market came right down into that level and then took off to the upside. That's always a good buying opportunity for an intraday scalp when you see that. Uh, first of all, let's put some of these trend lines in. What I'm going to do is more focus on the near-term trend lines for you guys today, not go back. A lot of times you guys will see we go back to trend lines that can range back weeks if not months. Today I really want to focus more on just what, what do we see from yesterday's chart translated into today's chart. And what you can do is you can take yesterday's high of the day, which was the gap up, and just take that trend line and draw it straight across. And what that's going to give you is the general high of the day today and the resistance point on the intraday chart of today. Notice how the high of the day yesterday, the gap up, we fell all the way down to close near the lows yesterday. Today's gap up almost right to that level, and then off that pullback, we went, went right back to that level before pulling back again. So you can see how that resistance line is something that needs to be broken. We need to get above that to get a good breakout in this market and see more upside. The other things you also are seeing, you want to take your pivot levels from yesterday and extend them. And what we're going to do is take this pivot low, or this pivot high in fact, and just extend it right over. And notice how that comes right into play on the pullback at the necktie as well. All right, Drawing that in right there. Now notice again, the gap up today pulled back to that necktie I just mentioned a little while ago. Also the trend line pivot from yesterday's pivot point in the around the 12 o'clock hour from yesterday's chart. Now the pattern that I had been talking about, we'll stop the trend lines for a little while and talk about this pattern intraday yesterday. We saw a WV formation in yesterday's chart. However, it did not really come to fruition. Now, a lot of people would say, well, we did go up today, so wouldn't that be a completion of the WV pattern? But in fact, when you have a WV pattern here in the chart, and I'll draw that in for you guys, you guys can see it here. Here's your W and your V pattern. Really what you want to see is the V pattern be a little more shallow than it was. Now ideally you just don't want to see the lows get taken out and we didn't technically do that so a lot of people would say well the pattern did hold. But oftentimes I'd prefer to see a, a more shallow V pattern only taking it down right to this level, the 20 moving average. That's your strongest move to the upside. And it kind of makes sense if you see yes we got the move up today and you got the gap up today in the V pattern but it only really went back to yesterday's high and that tells you exactly how strong the pattern was yesterday. So again, just keep that in mind for those of you that are doing your intraday analysis on all your stocks, all your ETFs uh, on your own. You always want to see a shallow V pattern, a little more shallow, maybe a 50% retrace of the entire move up here, maybe right down into the 20 moving average, and then the V forms. And the V tends to be much, much more extended to the upside, a bigger breakout when that is shallow like that. Okay, So just a little intraday analysis technique for you guys to use. 
as we get further into this video. Going back to trend lines, guys, a couple other things I'm going to draw in, and I'm just going to erase the V here on the chart and the W so we can see a little more clearly. We can see also that you have a couple of the trend lines. First of all, take the low from yesterday and extend it to the secondary low of the day and right through. And this is going to be a key level. As you can see, it comes right into the end of the day pattern right there. And again, to the low, to the secondary low, to the third closing low yesterday. And this, if the market does sell off today, will be a very, very good support line. You would expect a bounce at that point. Um, only a scalp bounce I would do in this market. Again, why? Because every day, the end of the day has been a massive sell off. And until the market proves otherwise, you have to assume that will happen again. All right. Once we get something other than that, then we can start to think about the upside. But you don't want to go into that for more than a scalp off this pivot line down here, this trend line. Uh, secondary levels, guys. Take a look. Take your low from yesterday at the end of the day, extend it to the high right there. All right, And again, you're taking your low of the day at the end of the day there to the secondary move down today right through that necktie. And look at that resistance line where the market came right back up into that. Again, these are all creating the pivot lines for the day. So you can do this on an intraday chart and figure out exactly where the market's going to bounce, fall back. So if you're scalping intraday, day trading intraday, this works on all time frames too. So those of you that are investors, day traders, swing traders, you can apply this to the weekly, the monthly, the daily chart. And again, we go over a lot of this much, much more in depth in the uh, premium subscribers uh, portion of our website uh, at inthemoneystocks.com under the research center. We give out pivot points and teach a lot more in depth. So you really want to do, do sign up for that to get a full grasp on everything we're talking about here. Okay, just a couple other things. You want to look at a couple other trend lines. Take the pivot of the W pattern right here where we pivoted lower to make the W and take that high point and connect it right across here and all of a sudden you have another trend line formation. You're basically connecting these all right up. And on a breakout above this line, this line extended will be more resistance. So definitely watch for that level. All right, so again, a breakup. If you do get that later this afternoon, that would be something to watch. Now, what you're seeing here live as the market trades is we are breaking lower. And one thing you wanted to see is you had a bearish flag pattern here. And I'm going to erase this trend line just to explain this a little more. As the market came up into this resistance, which was double top from yesterday, we came into a lot of resistance. And the market failed to break out there. It's only the second hit of that trend line. Second hits very rarely break out. It's usually third, fourth, fifth hits that get the breakout. So as you failed there, you came down pretty hard. Two candles, two red candles, as you can see, right to the 20 moving average. Obviously, that would be support for support line. What you form then is a bearish flag pattern. The bearish flag pattern takes you right up to this line right here. Okay, which also coincides with the high line right across. And again, as I mentioned, this line as well. So you're coming into multiple resistance lines on this bear flag pattern. That's a very bearish signal. And what do you get? You get a drop down, a pause candle, and then further downside. Right now, you're looking at support coming into play at on the SPY at approximately $70.75. 70 That'll be 50 moving average support. And that will be very, very good support in this market as it coincides with this trend line pivot point from the W high as well right across. Should that break, then you're talking about this lower trend line, which currently sits at approximately $70. That 70 even number, very, very big in this market. You want to watch for that. We did close above it uh, yesterday by just a few pennies. And you want to see this market hold that even number. Very important. It holds. Um, the even numbers can be looked upon as something as a confidence booster in the market. You start to break 70 or, for instance, 700 on the S&P, then our next level would be a little lower and so forth. Again, that stuff revealed to the premium subscribers only, our key levels intraday on the daily, on the weekly charts to watch for, and our sentiment for the market. All right, guys, that's about it. We'll just quickly look at the 60-minute chart here. And you can see, again, um, well, that's the daily. Here's the 60-minute. And you can see the 60-minute is actually a slightly bearish pattern with a near-term bullish, bullish move. Why a near-term bullish? Well, you actually closed above the 50 moving average, uh, make that the 20 moving average, consolidating for two candles on the pullback. What you don't want to see is you don't want to see these candles get below the low of this previous green candle. That would negate the bullish pattern, near-term bullish pattern, and complete the bearish pattern, which is the longer-term pattern here. All right, so be careful there. Watch that. See if that low gets closed below. If it does, you could see a double bottom come into this market on the downside. All right, guys, once again, join the web webinar. Uh, we have it on March 21st, 2009, on Saturday, 1 o'clock to 6 o'clock. That's on our website, as well as the premium services chat room with video now, live video from our traders, as well as many other premium services. You're all welcome to come and join. Take care.